Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to use the command scale for changing the size of an object. Basically this is used to increase or decrease the size of a drawing. I recommend you to not use this command for printing purposes. It's better to draw always in a scale one per one. However, if you need to scale a drawing in order to print it, you can check it in the link above. Ok, to change the scale of a drawing, I will click on the icon in the Modify section or alternatively, I can type Scale or SC. Now I select the objects I want to scale and press Enter. Then I select the base point and when I drag the pointer, I realize the rectangle is getting too large. As you see here, at the moment it's using a factor of 35. It means that if I click here, the size of the object will increase 35 times and without any precision. Due to that, I will insert the scale factor. Ok, going back, I will set it as 2 and the line sizes will change to the double. Now I will type the command distance or the I so I can measure this line. And as you see, the length has changed to 200. Another thing, if this dimension doesn't appear in your workspace, you have to switch on this button that says dynamic input or also press F12. If instead I want to scale my drawing to a smaller size, I have to insert for the scale factor a value under 1. For example, if I insert 0.5, the lines will be shrinked to its half. Now imagine that I want to change the scale in order to have this line as 135. So I will type the command again. I select everything. Then I choose the base point. Now if you look to the command bar, there is an option called reference. So I will type ref or r. With this I will choose two points and type the new distance between them that I want. So I choose this as the first point and this as the second point. Now I want this distance to be 350. So it's done and those are my new distances. Now I will show you another case to use reference with scale but this time I don't know the distance. I just want the length of this door to be exactly as this basement in order to fit there. Ok, I will do the same procedure as before. I will choose now the base point. Now I will type reference. Now like before I choose the two points of my reference. Here it is. Now instead of typing the distance, I type P for points and then I choose these two points because I want to fit the door here. Ok, now these two distances are the same. Finally I just need to move my door there and it will fit exactly in that place. So here it is. Ok, so this is all from my side. I hope you enjoyed this video and understand all these procedures. If you found this useful, subscribe to watch more similar tutorials. Thank you very much and till next time!